So I'll divide this into first two points, the technical aspect, which is like near term, today, tomorrow, and then we'll talk about opportunities, which are, let's say, for next uh, <coughs> 12 months plus. In the near term, I think the bank nifty holds the key. You just closed at 24,000 yesterday. Now, that's the line in the sand that you close above 24,000, the market is okay. You go start, you start going below 24,000, then market becomes into a weak zone. The bank nifty holds the key because the bank nifty has not fallen as much as what other indices have fallen. There you go. Energy, FMCG, MNC, Infra, 10% I think is the average fall. The bank nifty is down 6%. And that holds the key. Second, the FI in FNO, I think, is is in terms of the total uh, selling, it is in a sense just telling you that every FI is on the same side of the board. Even at these levels, either they are selling in the cash market or they are creating short positions. This is not going to last forever, which means that some turn, I think, should come. If the bank nifty holds on and if the FI turns, then you could see a bout of short covering. Conversely, the bank nifty goes down, FI short selling increases, then we could be staring at a lot of downside. So in the near term, which is this week, next week, global events, the positioning of the market, the technical setup is not indicative of a lot of strength in the market. But if you are a portfolio investor, this is a time when you would say that, okay, what is in for me? And that is the point. What is in for you is that the bull market is not over, the earning cycle is not over, valuations are becoming reasonable and in some pockets they are becoming attractive. Private banks and some mid-tier banks, they become the go-to port of call for an investor. I think CDMO and Pharma becomes another port of call. Anything which has got to do with energy transition, I think is a long, long way to go. Uh, if the government spending in the second half increases, then infra stocks will have a shot and I think they could also make a comeback. And then I particularly like cement. Why? Because just think about it. I mean, cement prices in the last three, four years, they've done nothing. Real estate may boom hai, infra may boom hai, but real cement prices have not gone anywhere. Yeah. And why? Because well, there is a consolidation happening in that sector. There's one side is Adani, other side is Billa. There's a war to acquire assets and the pricing is not coming back because companies are not increasing prices. Yeah. I think that will get addressed.